everybody, it's Shauna and today I'm coming to you with a video response to a question I received on my tutorial the other day with my pink bronze eye and nude lip. The question was from I am a Jamie and I will insert the question here. Basically wanting to know what products I used in that video. The first part will be my everyday products. These do not change except from between summer and like spring, summer, or fall. Um, then the second part will be anything outside of that that I used in that specific video to directly answer the question that I was asked. So if you would like to see what I use, stay tuned. So without fail, on a daily basis, I use some combination of these products from my brows. The Kevin O'Quan Eyebrow Pencil in Brunette. And this is what it looks like. It draws very thin lines and it can mimic individual hairs. On the other end, it has a spoolie, as you can see. And I basically use it just to do the outline of my brow. I will use this Kaylin brow gel in mahogany. And it's basically a gel formulation that dries down to a powder. And once it dries down, it does not budge at all. This is the brush that it comes with. The brush was on the end. You just poke it in there and you can apply it directly from there. To clean up in between my brow shapies, as I like to call them, I use the Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer and I combine two colors. I use number nine and number 13. I also use that same combination of colors underneath my eye for concealer or brightener, whatever you want. The brushes that I use in my brow application, um, if I don't use the brush that came with the brow gel, I will use this one by Delium Tools. It's the number 731, which you can see there. <clears throat> to shape under my brows, I use any kind of angle brush. I think this one is by Eco Tools. And to blend out my brightener under my eye, I either use a wedge sponge or I will use any kind of like brush that's like this, like a large blending brush. And this one is the Delium Tools number 787. Um, after I do my highlight under my eye, I set it with none other than Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I will either apply it with a large shader brush like this, because it's precise and it can get right into that area. Or I will use this, which is also is a Real Techniques brush. And I have had this so long that the words have rubbed off, but I think it's a blush brush. To right apply. now, if I use any foundation at all, like today I do not have on foundation, I just have on powder. I have been using my Chanel Matte Lumiere and the color that I use is number 110 in Cedar. I then blend it out with either a flat top brush, any kind of flat top brush, like the e.l.f. one is really good. Um, this one, I think this is a crown brush, but I use this today to do it and I just, I will dot it on and then blend. If I do not use a liquid foundation, then I use, which is what I use today, MAC Studio Fix Powder and the number that I use is C7. Please excuse my nails, they need to be done terribly. Um, and this is what C7 looks like. Another powder that I have used from time to time is the No More Blemish Powder by Ruby Kisses. And the color that I use is Cafe Caramel. If you can see that. And I apply it either with the same brush that I used for my foundation because it's usually a brush like this or either a flat top one, like completely flat. Or I use the Real Techniques Power Brush, which I love. It's big and fluffy and soft. And it's just powder brush. The product that I use for my contour is always, always, always MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW50. And this is what it looks like. Well, it's probably a little bit darker than that. My light is so bright. Um, I also use it to contour my eye area. You saw in the video I applied 
um, color to my crease area with like a any old fluffy brush I just take it and do like that and go right in here it is a nice bridge color for me and I like it with pretty much any shadow it'll go oh here's the brush I think this is one of those up and up brushes from Target very soft very fluffy very good crease brush um, that is the only product that I really use for my contour. I also use it to contour my nose if you've seen. And if I want to hide a little bit of my double chin action going on, I apply it there as well. <clears throat> for my highlight glow, if I want to do it, I have been obsessed with this since I got it. It is the Double Definition. Um, that's the color. It is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. And the color again is double definition. It's like the bronzy golden color. Um, for my blush, I have been obsessed with this lately. And I did use this in the video. So this is just skipping ahead a little bit. It is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Seen to be Seen. Also by MAC. And I almost always use my NARS. I cannot pronounce the name of this brush. But they still sell it on the site. It's like... $45 for this brush but I love it I've had it for years like I think I got it when I was pregnant with my daughter and my daughter is now five so good investment um if not the other two blushes that I seem to always reach for is max band of roses which looks like this don't remember what collection it came out with or this one that I recently got um from one of my partners in pretty I think Nakia got it gave it to me it is called Beach, please. Uh, it's by Be a Bombshell Cosmetics. It's a very bright, hot pink matte color, and I fell in love with it because of the name. Um, but it is a very pretty color. As um, well. And my go to liner, just my everyday liner. In the video, I did use a different product, and I will show that to you also. Um, the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Liner. It has like a felt tip I like it because it works for me it's foolproof for me and I usually have trouble with liquid liner but this one seems to not give me any issue for some reason and the color that I use it in is ultra black number 881 I think these are like a dollar 99 can't beat that but just every day like this what I have on right now is the Kevin O'Quan um liner precision liquid liner that's what it's called and it's in basic black and this is like a marker. It has a very fine tip. So you can do like a little line, a little flick, or you can do like a heavy, thick line. And that's what I usually do. I usually do the flick on the end and then lay it and draw. Another foolproof product for me. My go-to mascara right now, which I did show in the video, is the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Mascara in Black is Black. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's the one with the funny looking brush, which is what kind of drew me to it. Like one side is that angled comb, and the other side is a regular mascara wand. Now for the specifics from that video. I'm gonna just grab stuff now. I used this Wet n Wild lipstick. I believe it's Bear Study, but I'm not sure because the sticker came off the bottom. Um, I have it on right now, today. I also used it with a Wet n Wild liner. It's a Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner in Brandywine. I don't know if you can see that, but the number is 666. I know, <laughs> but it looks like that. I don't know if you can see that. It's just like a nude, really what it sounds like, brandy wine color. But I like it paired with this particular um, lipstick. That's how I did it the other day, just those two. I didn't wear gloss. I didn't do any other liner or anything. But today I paired it with the Nana Coco lip gloss in what is it city girl and it looks just like the lipstick it's just making it not matte and i also use chestnut lip liner with it and i don't know 
where chestnut is right now it's hiding but mac chestnut lip liner to add a little bit more depth to the lip <clears throat> i use the la girl i'm sorry la splash cosmetics splash proof sealer eyeshadow sealer and base before i applied my pigment and then I applied my pigment, which was pink bronze. And I believe this is a MAC pigment. I got it from um, The Body Needs. I don't know if the company is still around. Um, if it is, and you will see a link pop up. Um, to add depth to the look, the eye look that I did the other day, I used my Wet n Wild Color Icon palette in I Heart Matte. And I only used this side, so I used the black and the brown combined in the crease and then I use the lightest shade right here for my brow bone and these are the brushes that I use to do my eye looks just like a badger hair brush if this that's what this one is I got it from crown brush years ago and then this one is also a crown brush I don't remember when I got it um, I used it for the black like once I did my liner and then I wanted to deepen it that area right there, I use this to apply the black. That day on the inner tear duct area, I used my Exquisite Ego Mineralized Eyeshadow by MAC. It came out with the Holiday Collection, which you will see in my holiday MAC Holiday 2013 video, if you have not seen it already. Um, so yeah, and I applied it with like a small shader brush just to brighten up the inner eye, replacing the Makeup Forever that I normally use. And I think that's it. I hope this helps. Um, I'm sorry I rushed through it, but I've been trying to record this video all day. It is now 9.36 p.m. I started recording it at like 3 something this afternoon and had to start all over again because my phone started acting up. Um, so apologize for that. Um, I am Jamie. I hope that this helped you. If you have any other questions, please do let me know. I will try to be better in listing the products that I thank you for watching and for posing the question as always um yeah I think that's it I'm getting ready to finish cleaning the kitchen and get relaxed so I can watch Scandal and then um go to sleep because I have to go to work in the morning so um and you'll probably you guys probably won't see this video until tomorrow so pay me no mind I'll see y'all soon peace